Welcome back to Max Life Out Drone Talk. I have been having a blast with my Mavic Pro. It's been absolutely awesome. I uh, took it to uh, Cannon Beach just recently and did some footage. have to say, uh, who would have guessed that this little button here, little wheel, actually adjusted the gimbal. It took me a while to work that one out. I was flying it for the first day and uh, didn't get the shots that I was after. Anyway, figured that one out. Today I just wanted to share with you a couple of the uh, accessories that I purchased with it that I found to be really useful. Uh, I want to take the first one has been the leg extenders. So these are the leg extenders and uh, they basically raise the Mavic off the ground. I'm going to take the camera and show you the Mavic uh, as it sits on the floor. As you can see it's pretty close to the ground and uh, this is the uh, camera. The other bit that I found out is that you really want to fly with this uh, clear protective cover off because there are actually fans inside that uh, the wind goes through. So if I take this cover off here, you can see just back there behind the camera um, that there are actually, if I can get my finger up underneath there, just here, where my finger is, there's actually air vents and uh, the wind goes in and actually cools down the Mavic in flight. When you leave this little clear plastic cover on, it actually heats the Mavic up quite considerably. So what I wanted to do was be able to raise that off the ground and this is where these little legs come in. So you have two of them for the front of the drone and then this kind of funny little thing for the back and they're pretty easy to fit on so you just simply clip them on at the back here you can see that uh, you do want to avoid putting them round this way so you don't it, it will actually clip in but you don't want it that way round the reason is just here is a sensor for the ground so do make sure that you fit these this way around whoops so that they clip in and then you turn it around and you take your little legs and I don't know if the camera will see that but inside there is a right and a left hand side so you do want the right hand side to go on the right side the left hand side to go on the left side and they just slide into place and in the packet you have a uh, little soft pads as well I haven't put those on and then we'll put the Mavic down and then if I bring the camera over you can see that that raises the Mavic off the ground quite considerably most importantly it raises the gimbal and the camera off the ground so if you're landing in long grass or there's some rocks or anything so I highly recommend the legs now the legs, you can get different versions of the legs. Um, I will leave a link down below to the ones that I purchased on Amazon. You can follow the short link and see them there. You can also search and see other manufacturers and they're all different prices. I'm not sure what the difference is, but the ones that I've purchased I've been happy with. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was uh, the camera. As I said, not a good idea to fly with this I learned that um, if you do fly with it you can you tend to get a flare or a shadow off of the off of the actual um, cover itself so now if the camera will pick that up but you can see the reflection in it and so when you fly with it you get a reflection off of that straight onto the the camera lens which is kind of annoying so flying without is one option but uh, when you fly without one you can actually get a lens flare depending on when the light's coming in and so the next uh, accessory that I purchased was this little guy and this is a uh, sunshade it also doubles up as a bit of protection for the actual gimbal and the camera so you snap that in just like that and you can see that the camera is shown out but there is a little bit of protection there at the same time it's pretty cool. 
Um, I did fly with it. One thing to note when you fly with this, when you're in high wind, the the uh, Mavic tends to do a, a little bit of a tilt to go forward. The gimbal comes up and this bit here tends to show up in your filming. So you do have to remember to move the gimbal a little bit down. Remember? That's what this guy is all for. So you do want to move it down a little bit. Um, and also when you're moving from side to side, I have found that I've got some uh, flare in the video from here as well. We get some, you know, get some black um, shadowing from it. But other than that, uh, it does do a good job of being a sunshade. I do like the fact that it gives a little bit of protection, doesn't give a great deal. Uh, you might notice that my propellers are a little bit scuffed. I did do a flight the other day. I went into the woods with it and decided to, to fly it in a close space to play with the uh, active track and follow me and uh, ended up in a tree. So cover did, did help out there. Fortunately, I didn't damage it. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was the package that I purchased. So I'll put the video up here on the screen for when I unpackaged it. It's the first video I did. I did buy the Fly More package and uh, the Fly More package was pretty cool. It comes with two extra batteries and having now flown it, those two extra batteries come in really useful. Uh, it comes with the charging station. It also comes with a car charger and a USB device to turn the battery into a charger for your phone or other device. So pretty nice package as well as the actual bag that it fits in. Now the only thing I have a complaint about the bag is that everything goes into the bag nicely but the batteries have to go into the outside pockets of the bag and uh, if, it, if you get caught in some rain uh, not so not so good for the batteries. So other than that really like the fly more package you got all the bits that you needed came with it. You also got an extra set of blades and if you want to see more you can see the other video and I'm unboxing it as well. Um, I actually purchased my drone from Amazon. I'm a bit of an Amazon junkie. I just like the convenience of that. It was by DJI uh, so I wasn't buying it from the third party on Amazon. You buy it from DJI. DJI does a care refresh. Now the care refresh is their warranty. You can lose it or damage it up to twice in a year and there's a small fee for replacement or repair. I purchased it. It's $99. I'm, I'm pretty new to drones. I considered it a insurance program. One thing to note, I did panic a little bit when I bought it because I'm like, oh my god, I didn't buy it at the same time. How do they know? Don't worry, if you do buy it from Amazon, you do have 48 hours from the time that you register or activate your new drone. And you have to go online and activate it. Once you activate your new drone, you can then purchase the Care Refresh. So no problem. Um, if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below directly to the package I bought on Amazon. So if you want to go that path, you can click on it straight there. Anyway, that's my quick talk for today on drones. If you're interested, you can see me having a blast at Cannon Beach, uh, walking our dogs and playing with Active Track and the functions there. I'll put that up on the screen as well. Until the next drone talk, have great time flying. Max life out. And I'll catch you next time.